on the South Platte River up near Deckers. We're gonna jump out into the water and see what uh, fish we can find out here. Got five flies for uh, September happening and out here with Tanner Smith and we're gonna go and try to catch some trout. Hey, what's up everybody? It is Tanner with Trout's Fly Fishing, back for five flies to get you to the month, through the month of September. We're here with good friend, head guide, Scott Dixon. Um, we're down at Deckers. Yeah, it's kind of, 
September's been kind of weird to say. We got a whole bunch of fires everywhere, so it's the season, you know, pick and choose your spots. You know, Decker's right now is flowing great. We're at, I think, what, 580? 580, 580 right like now, that. yeah. Um, care about water tips, you know, those sort of things, you know, get to those creek zones early if you can. You know, the Colorado up by Kremlin is still fishing good, but be careful with that because it will be crowded with all the fires going on. Kind of limits where people can get to there. Also, you know, high country is gonna be a good option for you. Um, get up to that as much as you possibly can. It's supposed to be warm all the way through September. You know, who knows when fall is coming. So until then, yeah, take advantage of, you know, using water graphs, using temperatures, those sort of things. Check the wind so you can escape some smoke. All that sort of stuff is gonna come into play while we have all these wild, wildfires, low water and everything like that. So still plenty of opportunities, but just do a little research and take, take your time thinking about where you're heading before you just go somewhere where it's just not gonna be as good as it, as it should be for September. Fly number one for the month is Mare's Jigged uh, Mini Leech in brown, size 14 is what we were using today up here. Uh, it's great for these higher flows, been able to get it down deeper. Uh, right now I'm having it at the very bottom of my rig just to help get those flies down there as I'm fishing the water. Uh, again, it's at 580 up here on the South Platte, so it's, uh, you want some bugs that are going to be able to get down. Um, this month, besides just talking about the five flies, we're also talking about the five beers of the month. <laughs> beer number one for this month is Bud Light. A uh, great beer to start your day, a uh, great beer to be out in the water. There's a cup of water in every can, so it helps keep you nice and hydrated throughout the day. So, uh, there we go. Beer and fly number one. Fly number two to get you through the month of September is going to be a tongue teaser. Um, we're fishing at size 18, 16 to 18. Um, pretty productive fly, especially in the high flows. It can mimic so many different things, you know, it's a stonefly, scud, caddis, you know, we're seeing kind of all those things. I really like to have patterns that imitate a whole lot of nothing, but also at the same time mimic a whole lot of things, if that makes any sense at all. So um, it's a great fly. I like to fish that kind of as my middle fly through the rigs. Um, also really heavy for you, so it's going to help get down, like Scott was saying, especially along the south line down at Decker, Cheeseman Canyon, where flows are really high. But it's going to be a really productive fly for you on the free stuff as well. So, tongue teaser, fish it. It's kind of a slept on fly, but it works really good. <laughs> what about the beer? Beer number two, as you guys probably could have predicted, coming from me, Coors Light. Um, it probably also has a cup of water on it. It has mountains on the can. Tastes really good any time. Tastes really good any temperature. This one is not even Blue Mountains, and I'm still enjoying it after a long day of fishing. Beer number two, Coors Light. Fly number three for the month is the uh, Top Secret Midge. Uh, throughout the year, uh, midges are a major food source for the trout. Uh, find them on the South Platte, find them on the Eagle, find them on the Colorado. Kind of find them all over the place. Uh, I like having it as my very bottom fly, uh, trailing behind something that has a little bit of weight to it. Uh, sometimes I'll have it behind that Tuckett's teaser, sometimes behind a worm. Um, but when trout start getting a little bit picky and some of the other hatches aren't going on during the day, I always revert back to the midges and uh, trout dig them. Uh, beer number three for the month of September is going to be the Tecate. Uh, another cold, refreshing beer, great to have on the water, especially in these hot summer days. Uh, September is going to continue to be pretty warm, so another beer that I recommend out on the wall. Toss me that beer. Beer me that beer. Oh, big boy drink beer. Fly number four to get you through the month of September is going to be uh, the Darth Vader. Today we are fishing in an olive size 22. For me, being out here with Scott Dixon on his home turf, you know, it's uh, tough for me to keep up as he catches a fish every other cast. Um, thank God for the Darth Vader. It's kind of saved my ass for a little while today. Uh, got got pretty hot for me, but that fly is always productive. A bunch of those different colors as well. Um, you don't always have to go down to the 22, but it's going to be a safe bet, especially when you're fishing some of our technical tailwaters along the front range. You know, your Deckers, Dream Tree, Blood Mock Canyon, that sort of thing. So have that fly. It'll produce for you. It produces just about all the time. So yeah, Darth Vader's fly number four. What about the beer? Beer number four is gonna be White Claw. My preferred White Claw flavor is gonna be Natural Lime. 
I'm a heavier set guy. Every once in a while I need something a little less calories. It's gonna also be refreshing and a little lower on the calories, you know? White Claw is my seltzer of choice. All right, fly number five for the month of September is a wine worm. Uh, out here on the South Platte, tailwater, higher flows, worms have been working good up here. Uh, a few fish that we've been putting in the net recently have actually been throwing worms up because they're eating so many. Uh, today was no exception, caught some good fish on the worms. Um, so always one to, to use up here. It's also good on a lot of the free stones as well. Uh, all fish like worms, so as well. Uh, beer number five for the month of September is the Colorado Original, the Banquet, Coors Original. So always a good refreshing choice to being out on the water, especially fishing in our state of uh, Colorado. Brewed in golden, yep. you gotta love it. For the, the less, it's for the less fat people. Yeah. Yes. Who can have more calories. For the people who aren't afraid of calories, <laughs> they can go ahead and, and drink the original rather than the, the light beers. <laughs> I'm just impressed to see you hold the Coors Banquet over a Bud Heavy. That actually oh, yeah. makes me feel pretty good. All right, that concludes uh, five lives to get you through the months of September. And, you know, five beers as we're kind of connoisseurs in that industry as well. We like to think professionals. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, take advantage of September, you know, the weather is going to be kind of weird. We don't really know what's going on. Cool down's coming. The skies have cleared. We haven't seen non-smoky days along the Far Range for the last two weeks. So it's been great to see some rain the last few days. You know, fishing's going to be good. Make the best of it, whether it's warm water, you got to call half days, all that sort of stuff. So get out there and fish, get up to the high country while you still can. Honestly, take advantage of Deckers while we have water. So yeah, five flies, month of September, as you guys know. You can find us at the shop, online, wherever else the mom posts a bunch of pictures at, Insta, Insta famous and stuff like that. Um, yeah, we'll be cool. All right, later. Scott, always fun fishing with you, my friend. Always fun, buddy. Great day.